Mardi Gras is months away, but the planning for the massive event is a year-round endeavor. For 2022, the crews will have to make a major decision on a major financial commitment for security. NBC 6's Yalisha Gatewood joins us now live from the crew of Centaur Den, sharing just how much all of it could cost. Yalisha, good evening. Good evening, Dan and Jackie. Yeah, that's right. I met the crew of Centaur Den, but this is Shreveport's 30, 30th year for the crew for the Mardi Gras parade. Excuse me. And now the crew of Centaur plan to have a big presence at the Arklatex this year, but they may come with a $100,000 plus price tag in order to have a smooth and safe event. Beads, floats, moon pies, and more. Mardi Gras is known to bring the fun every year. Well, we feel that uh, this is a gift to the city. But next year's gift will be expensive for the crew of Centaur and Gemini. Their 10-year agreement with SPAR expires in December, and moving forward, they will have to pay for security along the parade routes. We just feel that, that if we were to have to pay any kind of money, that it's going to be detrimental to our crews. And we just can't afford the kind of money that they're asking for. I've been in this crew since 1999, and we've never had to pay anything to the city for security. In 2019, Shreveport police provided officers for both parades. The interim police chief says it cost the department around $80,000 for the Centaur Parade and $64,000 for Gemini. It takes quite, quite a bit. Uh, as you know, the route is quite lengthy. And uh, in past years, uh, we have staffed it with up to nearly 300 officers along the parade uh, route. And as you know, staffing with that many officers uh, at that overtime rate can get quite expensive. So both crews pitched the idea of having the parade in Bossier City. Mayor Tommy Chandler and City Council do not believe it's in the city's best interest to host parades next year. Chandler says, quote, given the time constraints, public safety and budgetary concerns could not be inadequately addressed. Talks were left open for future seasons. As for Shreveport. That's a, an administrative decision uh, for the, the mayor, the CAO and others involved uh, to talk about. Uh, I would not think that I could get that many people, uh, you know, to work without being compensated for the effort because it's an all day day event. We still do not know if these floats will make parade next year, next year, but we know that the crews will meet with Mayor Perkins next week. Reporting live in Shreveport and on this Mickey Mouse float, Alicia Gatewood, back to you guys. We'll see what the numbers ultimately decide. Yeah, it's pretty expensive.